This is how I defeated an army three times my size in an absolutely desperate last stand. This battle was all or nothing. If I was victorious, I would smash the Azerai forces, pretty much depleting their troops in the area, leaving their settlements vulnerable. However, if I was defeated, this would be it. My elite army I had spent over 20 hours getting would be completely destroyed. My settlements would be in ruins and I would find my myself in chains. However, even though things did look bleak, you can see that I was pretty lucky with the type of settlement we got. This is a pretty defensible one. Not only do we have pretty tight positions to actually get to the walls, they are very narrow, so a lot of the arrows, if they miss their mark, are still going to be finding somebody. And the fact that the enemy are pretty much recluded to just using ladders will dramatically reduce the amount of soldiers they can actually bring to bear against against my formation. So I decided to come up with a plan here. If we fight them in a straight up battle, they breach the gates, we're gonna lose it. There's no way we can hold back 1800 soldiers. However, I know for a fact that my army is extremely elite. We have spent a long time going ahead and creating one of the finest fighting forces that Caradia has seen. And because of that, I knew I had to do one of two things. First things first is stack these defensive walls where the ladders will be attacking us with a ton of my best infantry. These positions needed to be held. And second, I would have to prevent the battering ram from making its way to the gate. If this made it to the gate, all hope would be lost. I wouldn't be able to stem the sheer amount of soldiers that the AI had and they would just overrun my position. So the next part was pretty simple. Take the main part of my infantry and plant it outside the gate. Again, this map was extremely lucky in the sense that there was only one way to the gate and the ladders were nowhere near. I could take an elite band of my soldiers, plonk them out here into a tight shield wall and there was no way the enemy was going to break us. So the plan was a set. We had infantry out in front of the gate, archers scattered throughout the walls, and two infantry blocks defending from the ladders. If any of these positions were to fall, all hope would be lost. My army would be outflanked and overrun. So every piece of the puzzle had to come together for victory to be assured. Okay, so out here we are. We're going to try and snipe a few people with our archery skill. Again, we're going to be getting hit by missiles as well. I think it's fine. The artillery coming in. I have a lot of archers. Though. Maybe we should pull back a little bit. We're just like kind of almost dying for no reason here. Yeah, let's pull back a little bit with our RMG line. Because, yeah, their missiles are doing some decent damage. And, obviously, every casualty really does matter. And, to be fair, we do just need to be able to defend this position here. So, let's go all the way back to the gatehouse. Why not? Yeah, let's go all the way back to the gatehouse here. That's literally all we need to be able to defend. So, it's fine. And then we'll reform. Our archery is go here. We're going to pull out our, our big handed mace and just try and smash some heads in. Make sure we don't mess up any handle hits. We're not really great with the two handed mace either. But it's fine. We should be able to kill these guys and then destroy the other positions. Again, when they start coming up the ladders, that's going to be scary. Hopefully the reinforcements for everybody else does also fill in uh, nicely. We just need to basically get out of range of their missiles and then come in. Here they come. They're pushing us. Guess I will look to do some damage to this. I wish I had like a better axe or something. They can't push through us here as well. Right now, we are just hitting them. We are doing damage to it. Continues to stop them here. Again, we just cannot let them through. The defensive positions here. Obviously, we need to make sure we don't die. That axe is doing some good damage to us as well. Got a few of them. I wouldn't mind picking up that, to be honest. I need to, like, get a much better... Pick up this axe and maybe a shield as well. This axe probably does way more damage to a batting ram. No, it does way less. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. And go back. Reinforcements are spawning. So, so far, we've killed 300 of them with a missile fire, the uh, the artillery, and just holding this position here. We've killed 300 and lost 50. If we can keep this up, we're going to win the battle. But there is still almost, you know, close to 20, 1,500 soldiers left to take down. Continue to work down this battering ram and just keep on at it. 
Okay, here we go. The ram is going down. Okay, is that going to force him in? It's going to force him in. Hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. Okay, this is going to be a big fight here. We need to win this. The archers should be helping out as we continue to fire. They are. Let's keep on going. Oh, I killed some light infantry right there. Hoping it's going to be a clean victory. We need to get these kills off here ASAP. Make sure we don't get hit there. Yeah, just break in his skull. Killed two for one there. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, that was a good little exchange right there. Our left flank is getting a little bit shaky. Let's get over there ASAP to help out. I do not want them outflanking me. Which is seemingly they are doing. So let's try and help out as best as we can. This is when we lose men here. Getting too many handle hits here. Reinforcements are arriving, though. I just need to break them so I can reform. I need to break them here so I can reform. And then we can help out. We've got a few too many of them over here on me. Fall back, just fall back, just fall back. Shield should protect me. Continue to clear up the flank. Defend here, defend here. Upwards, upwards, upwards. Okay, here we go. We're getting some good damage now on them. Yeah, this mace is able to just output a lot of damage if you get the right hit. The fact that they managed to outflank me though was not good. And they're already starting to come through. No, you guys are friendly or not? You're not friendly. Get the hell out of my settlement. We've got an archer there. Nice, they covered that. Good, good, good. Okay, that's really big. We killed... Yeah, we, we did a lot of damage there. Now I can reform. We just need to break the last of them. A lot of them are routing as well as they fail here. I just need to reform. I still have my men on targeting the uh, siege tower. So when it broke, they went on and were a lot more aggressive than they needed to be. Okay, there's another one taken care of. Okay, you guys reform now. At this point, things were going really well. We had destroyed the battering ram. The only way the enemy could make their way inside my fortress through the gate itself. This meant I could go ahead and take soldiers which were garrisoned at the gatehouse and bring them back to defend the walls, which were currently raging on. The right hand side was going perfectly. My stack of infantry and shield wolves were preventing the AI from getting up and onto the walls in great numbers. However, on the left hand side, I did unfortunately leave a bit of a gap allowing them to make their way away from my infantry and actually start hitting my archers. This was something I needed to go ahead and plug immediately. We're defending here amazingly. There's nothing they can do up here. Our boys are in a great position. The left hand side again kind of worried me but seemingly again we are just holding the line. Shield walls. Shield walls don't give them the option to really get enough men in. The javelins are failing very nicely and our archers even though they might be running out of ammunition can cover us perfectly here as the enemy assault. They're now coming in piecemeal as well. We will definitely utilize this to our advantage. And the only reason, by the way, as well, we're able to do this is because of the sheer quality of our men. This is the, the best army that Vlandia has to offer. All of these soldiers are tier six. And again, as the battle goes on, as I've mentioned many times through this episode. Oh my God, he got me. He broke my guard. I'm down. That's not good. So we can now defend the gate, I guess. Oh, sorry, the walls. But yeah, as I keep on saying, the only reason this is possible is because these guys are able to keep on defending and keep on holding. I need to get out of here, though. I need to get to the front lines. Let's head our way over. Oh, this breach point isn't actually defended. Okay. No wonder it's a little bit scary over here. I don't really have the time to reform, though. So I guess I'm just going to sit here and try and defend this side as best as I can. We do also have a spear. I just cannot let them in. Let's push them back. Some of our axes are helping. Can I push this? I'm just not sure how much damage I'm doing. I'd love to get this ladder down, to be honest. Pull out the spear. Yeah, more arrows. Every time we lag, it's like more. Oh no, I fell! Okay. <laughs> We're now on the right-hand side. So to make matters worse, not only did I die defending the gatehouse, my second-in-command was taken down by, I guess, a little fate of God. This left me with my last and final life. However, this soldier was a veteran of many a war against the Britannians and the Northern Empire. It was now up to him to rally the men in defense of our castle.
We're now on the right-hand side after uh, unfortunately falling to our death. This side does not need our help. How's the center looking? The center is still holding and actually reinforcing quite nicely. Yeah, the enemy is just filtering in now as more soldiers spawn and then come to their death, which does give us the opportunity uh, to maybe throw... Oh, we were actually all out of rocks. That's a shame. It's a real shame. But we're fine here. We don't need to be here. And all as we kind of go down the ranks, you guys can just see our archers hammering in on them. The boys are holding. I mean, this is... Castles are designed to hold the line. Castles aren't supposed to be taken easily. And right now, the AI is falling into our trap. So they still have a lot more soldiers left if they want to commit them. But maybe the AI is just going to commit to, to not doing that and just be like, okay, yeah, you've got us here. Let's fall back. They are breaking here, though. Okay, they've got us a little bit here. Pull out our, 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 our mace. Slam this guy on the head. Good, he's down. Let's make our way back in now. Um, and boom, there you go. The enemy are completely broken. Victory is ours. They actually only committed under half of their men to this fight. 500 dead. 500 wounded. And then, I guess, 250 retreated. And they didn't decide to spawn in the other 400. They decided enough was enough. And there we have it. Victory was claimed by us. I mean, a pretty bloody affair. We were hit pretty hard on the casualty side of things. However, we were able to go ahead and defeat a large portion of the enemy force. Them realizing right at the end that they just did not have the men to take it and actually tactically retreating. This now gives us a perfect opportunity to now push out and actually go ahead and defeat the remnants of this army in the open field and then look to actually push on their future settlements, which it should be much easier now that their overall forces in the region are heavily depleted. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. Also, make sure you check out where this battle is actually from, which is my 100 mod playthrough in that mod i am playing with obviously over a hundred mods and things are just epic so many different scenarios arise which really makes us think on how we approach stuff there's a lot more depth in the mid to late campaign which i think is severely needed in bannerlord so it's definitely one to check out and i'll leave a playlist down below in the description and in the pinned comment finally again let me know if you want to see more videos like this from the epic battles that i do end up fighting in that campaign whether it's breakdown videos or or just more kind of taking a look back at it i'd be more than happy to do it i hope everybody has a great rest of their day and i'll see you guys in the next one